GTR. I'm Dan Sindel, and welcome to Lesson 9 of Easy GTR's Learning to Play Pachelbel's Canon in D Major. We're almost towards the very end of the song. We only have one more lesson left, so let's get down to business. Now today we're going to be looking at sections J to sections L. That's bars 39 to bars 47 of the workbook. And if you haven't yet downloaded the workbook, please go to EasyGTR.com, sign up for our newsletter. We'll send you a link to download the PDF file, as well as an MP3 to practice the song. And we have all kinds of other cool stuff, too, so we'll see you there. All right, so before we get started, let's make sure we're in tune. I'm going to play you an A, which is tuned to A440. really quickly a lot of people have asked me what's in my rack I get a lot of emails and a lot of questions regarding the equipment here and I'll show it to you real quick my guitar preamp is the Rocktron Prophecy 2 this is where I get my tone then I've got the Rocktron Velocity 100 it's a 100 watt stereo power amp and then the tuner here this is the Peterson tuner strobo rack pretty much the most accurate tuner in the industry and on top right here this is the Axon guitar to MIDI converter. It's the AX100, which helps you do guitar synthesizer stuff. It's pretty cool. Bar 39, section J. Now what we want to do is look at the score, and we can see that our very first note is an A note. It's on the 10th fret of the B string. But what we really want to do, we want to look back to our last grouping of 16th notes, which acts as a pickup into the new melodic idea. And this pretty much runs throughout the whole song. If you've been following the lessons, you'll know what I mean. So let's go to bar 38, the last grouping of 16th notes. We've got the note here on the 14th fret. It's an A note on the G string. And we're going to slide down to the E note and play two little A notes. So it looks like this. And there's our first note of bar 39, that A note. Okay, and now our next note is an A, and we play a D note. Then we move up to that little A note, and then bar 40, we play the G, then we play A, G, D. Now we're going to play the D with a little trill, and slide down a half step to that little C sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and play bars 39 to bars 40 for you, including the little pickup of bar 38. octave there on the 10th fret of the E string. So we got that little trill, the last little pickup of bar 40. And we slide back up and play its octave. And we play the C sharp to the B. And we're going to play the A note there on the 10th fret of the B string. So let's go ahead and play it again for you, including the little pickup of bar 40. We'll come back down to the D note on the G string, 7th fret. We're going to play D, a little E, and slide up to F sharp, all in the same string. One more time. And we'll play the B note there on the 12th fret of the B string. Then two little E's. And slide up a whole step to an F sharp, which is the first note of bar 43. So I'm going to go ahead and play bar 41 for you nice and slow, including the trill, the pickup of bar 40. 
14th position there on the high E string. We're going to come up to F sharp's higher octave. Now we have a series of groupings of 16th notes. We're going to say F sharp to G. Then we're going to come back down and play the F sharp to an E. They're going to play those two little D notes there on the 15th fret of the B string. Then we have D to E. We're going to come down to D to C sharp. I'm going to go ahead and play bar 43 for you really quickly. One more time. Bar 